a lot of times you and I pray to God and we're asking him for something. And we usually have an idea in our head about how he's going to do it. We contemplate on who he's going to use to do it. And I just stop by to tell you that sometimes he doesn't do it through who we assume he will do it through. Neither does he do it how we are expecting him to do it. I have for the last year have kind of almost gotten in the same boat that Sarah was in except it wasn't related to another woman, <laughs> okay? But I have tried to help God out. I have tried to figure out all of the ways that God was going to do it. None of those ways have been it. And I'm still <laughs> trying to figure out, okay, God, you didn't do it that way. Uh, well, maybe he's gonna do it this way. And ultimately what I believe God wants me to do, and not that I didn't know this, but sometimes, <clears throat> We just try to get ahead of God because let's be honest, sometimes God takes a long time to do it, right? But he's teaching me to trust him that when it's time for it, he will do it how he wants to do it and no hook up, you know, it doesn't matter about your connections or anything, who you know, none of that. See, God knows how to bypass all of that because he knows that so-and-so, uh, so-and-so could hook you up. You got this connection with this person. And then there are those times when God said, uh-uh, I'm not going to let your connections work. I'm not going to let your hookups work. I'm not going to let your degrees work. I'm not going to let your intellect work. This thing, when it is done, it will be by his will. So here we are. We're still waiting. 